Aisha has a question and she says, can I come in front of a brother with loose shawl, shawl or shawl on my head and in the presence of my mahram, brother or father, for only a few uh, uh, minutes so he can be satisfied and we can head to nikah, to marriage. Also, this brother does not have a mother or a sister. So he does not have female relative that he can trust in this very personal and sensitive matter. Please advise me. The answer is yes. What is Aisha asking about? A man is proposing to her. He doesn't have any female relatives that can come and take a look at the bride-to-be and go back to him to describe how beautiful she is, how, what's her height, what's her uh, skin color, etc. Things that would make him uh, interested in getting married to her. So when this is not possible, she's asking, is it possible for him to come and propose in the presence of my father or my, my brother, a mahram, a male mahram? And uh, he would sit with me and take a good look at me as well as I would take a good look at him. And then both of us can decide whether to go on with the marriage or not because he may see me and be interested in getting married to me. So is this permissible? The answer is definitely yes. This is part of our sunnah. We don't have any blind marriages in Islam. You don't go and marry someone without looking at her, without sitting with her, without talking to her, because this gives you a better life in marriage afterwards. But if you propose to someone and you get engaged and you get married without looking at her, just only on the description of your mom or your sister, and then on the wedding night, you uh, discover that she's a chimpanzee and not a human being. Well, this is what your mom saw. Tough luck, she needed a servant in the house. She didn't want uh, a model to please you. Then it's your mistake because the Prophet ﷺ saw uh, uh, one of his companions and he told him, the companion, that he uh, uh, got engaged to a woman. The Prophet told him, did you look at her? And the man said, no. He said, the Prophet ﷺ told him, go back and look at her because there is something wrong in the eyes of the Ansar. Maybe you would not be satisfied after marriage and this would cause you to divorce her the following week or the following month or the following year. But when you take a good look at her before marriage and you're totally satisfied with her, this goes for a lo very long time. And this is the best way of doing it. So yes, you can come in front of this man who is proposing to you. You can even show your hair nor you wear your normal clothes, not very revealing, not revealing at all, of course, and you must not put any makeup on your face, not even mascara, nothing. You come and talk to him and look at him well and communicate with him for about half an hour, an hour, it's all permissible, inshallah, so that this would increase the love between you if there were to be marriage. Maybe you would look at him and the guy is a, an ape or a gorilla. <laughs> If, if, he, if she was a, a chimpanzee, you never know. So if this did not take place, you are not following the sunnah. If you sit with him and you look at him and he looks at you, this is part of the sunnah.